Welcome back. You're still watching DXB today where we are talking about the multifaceted media scene here in the UAE in its full glory and vibrance. Now, our next guest helps create compelling stories, fostering the growth of the regional media sector. Please welcome to DXB today, Talal Alasmani from Image Nation. Talal, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure. Absolutely. Now, of course, Image Nation, it's a multi-award winning entertainment studio and you are known for breaking boundaries and unleashing imagination. How would you say over the years the, the company has developed? Well, we've been lucky uh, to have very good guidance and good people in our company that have had a lot of experience and passion. And, and we've also been lucky to have the, the understanding that this is a new industry and you have to learn from every lesson and every mistake and uh, change and pivot. And one important thing I think we are lucky to understand, and I think this is more than just imagination itself, but the, the UAE media industry has this understanding that it's a long-term plan and slow and steady to grow. And uh, comparing to other industries who might have just seen it as a a way to pour money into an industry and voila, mm -hmm. you know, it's, a, it's an industry where you actually have to be doing a good job and, and creating good content. And so that takes time. And uh, we've seen now this uh, boom in the media industry in the Arab world, uh, the MENA region, the GCC. And that's because I think, you know, you're, we're getting, the, the talent is growing. And there's an ecosystem where talent is growing and technology and the social disruption has also helped the access to that. And um, you know, the more you see yourself or yourself represented on screen, the more um, of a reality it becomes to you and the more you see yourself trying to do that. And so there's been a lot of demand for uh, Arab content recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of, there's a lot of storytellers and a lot of talent. Speaking of Arab storytellers, Maytha, come on, tell us about your project. So basically, Al Eid Eid is coming up and it's going to be releasing in the next few weeks and it's a Saudi Emirati family comedy film. Let's take a look at some of the clips. Mama, did you mean No, see you in a What am I like this? Is it safe? 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 So basically that clip we just saw is part of the film. It's a sneak peek that you will see in the big screen soon. It was a fun experience shooting in that location with the cast and crew. But Ty, can you tell me more about how this whole project came about and why did you select the people that were part of this beautiful production? Well, that's a very interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> like you, obviously. From, yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> Coming from one of the people that were chosen to, be, to, be, to lead the project. And we were very lucky to have the right people for this project. So it started off as a, um, a smaller concept uh, that was a, a story that came through the AFS, the Arab Film Studio program. And uh, that story was then given the, the, the prize or the reward of, that, of being, ha having that story was that it was gonna be turned into a feature film. And um, then we had Sara Sayer, who uh, was the screenwriter mm. of the film. And she's, this is her first feature film to screenwrite and it was a story that we all felt something very special happening uh, it's it's not a you know crazy high concept comedy you know it's a it's a very realistic and heartfelt story that we can all relate to uh, and I as a father of two young kids had every time I would read it I would my daughter would come in because it's during COVID and see me teared up and you know her, <laughs> why uh -huh. and so, we were all very emotional yeah, then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and so uh, once the script was ready uh, you know what we're part of imagination's uh, mission is to 
you know, to be able to help with this growing industry is is growing talent and giving talent opportunities. And you have to expand that pool and give people new up new chances. Uh, you know, people who haven't had chances before to to make a feature film. And in most industries, that's very difficult. It's mm -hmm. like a chicken and an egg thing. Have you yeah. made the feature film before? No. Then how can we trust that you could do it? And you know, but we're lucky now that this ecosystem has brought talent that have proven you know their skills and, mm -hmm. and level. And so Metha was an AFS graduate. Uh, and she's made a, a couple of uh, award-winning short films, and she shot one of the two uh, short uh, films for the um, UAE 50th uh, National Day. Uh, and uh, those are all very great achievements. And after, you know, this looking at different directors, Metha was the obvious choice. She totally understands I mean, the script. See, that's great. <laughs> and, uh, a round of applause for Metha. Metha understood the, the assignment, basically. Yes, and she understood the vision. And she and uh, Sarah clicked on it. You know, everything that nice. she was writing, she understood, and it, you know, they they matched. Uh, and then Alawi Abdullah, who is uh, the producer, uh, is also her first time, you know, being a producer on a feature film. Nice. Uh, but also someone that comes with a lot of talent. And so the the project was spearheaded by three Emirati women who have uh, not done feature films before. It's amazing. Mm. And, uh, and now they have though, right? And, and now they have. Yeah. Now they have and we're very proud of what the project is and we're very excited for everybody else to see it. So I, I was curious more about the Eid and maybe, you know, I'm, obviously you're the director as well, but feel free to jump in. But uh, it's a project uh, which you mentioned is a, has a generational thing. Like you as a father, you connected with it and made you very emotional. Um, is it something that you think will translate to maybe non-Khariji audiences? Because obviously it's about an Emirati family, an Emirati Saudi family. And comedy is very specific sometimes, right? So how do you think it will play for people who, again, who maybe live here, grown up here, but maybe don't have that direct experience? Well, I think initially, like, uh, you have to, fo your goal is you have to make it work uh, to your direct vicinity. Because if it doesn't speak uh, authentically, then it won't travel. Any foreign film that you've seen and enjoyed, it's usually because they have uh, sort of given you a, a voyeur's perspective of how life is like in that culture. So that's that's the main thing that I think you need to you know make sure it works first. Uh, but because it's a it's a global, it's a human story of family dynamics, uh, and this is a you'll see that even though it's an Emirati Saudi family, all families who travel with three young kids go through, uh, you know, a lot of uh, stressful moments uh, that you then, even the, the, no matter how stressful it is and all the things that go wrong, it always stays as a great memory. It's a positive memory. Uh, and uh, so, like you said, there's, I think the audience is uh, definitely kids because uh, you have their perspective. It's fun. It's, it's a fun film for kids because of all the adventures. And as a uh, parent of young kids, you start to see how your responsibilities affect them and how they affect you and your growth. And then there's the third level of the parents-in-law, the grandparents, and the dynamic between the second and third, uh, that generation. And so you, there's, anyone can come in and see themselves in it. And so for people from outside of the culture, I think it would be an interesting way for them to see how uh, it's not so different. Well, thanks a lot for coming here and talking about our film and what Imagination is doing with the film community um, this year. But uh, now, today's spotlight is on a company bringing stories and ideas to life with unique animation styles and high-quality video content. Taking your brand presence to the next level, this is Dina Subhi from Animus Agency. Hi. I'm Dina Sohi and I'm the business director of Animus Agency. Animus Agency is a creative studio that helps brands, uh, multinationals, governmental entities, startups to showcase their products and services creatively. We bring the ideas of their brands to life and we help them showcase their products to their audience. The main challenge here is that the competition is really fierce in the market, but we came to overcome this challenge by hard working, by gaining the trust of our client, by providing quality work.
our long-term goal is to start globally from here. We have already started to expand in North Africa and UK, but we definitely want to grow from Dubai to the whole world. The business here in Dubai is very dynamic and diversified. Opportunities here in Dubai is endless. You just have to work hard just to stand out among the competition in here. The support for entrepreneurs, for business owners is amazing. And you just need to gain the opportunity and use it to the maximum to succeed here. Well, Dubai means working very hard Monday to Friday and enjoying the rest of my weekend in the various places available here for entertainment. Great stuff happening there, but coming up, we discuss the success hit Netflix series Hiramandi with the one and only Tajdar, aka Taha Shah. He's going to be here with us in the studio in just a little bit. Plus, we've got a very talented band on set. Stay tuned. <laughs> 